Hello, hello. I'm going to be making some book page pockets today. I'm going to be making a tag to go on the inside of the pocket. And I'm also going to be using that pocket for um, a belly band. So we're going to be combining some ideas today. Um, I'm sure this has been done. It's probably nothing new. Um, but I thought this page here is a book page. I'm going to use that for my tags because it's the prettiest page of the bunch. Jay is, as we speak, tea dyeing some more book pages for me. But these ones are kind of dark enough for me to use as they are. So let's, let's get started. I'm going to grab my scoreboard and I've got my large scoreboard here. This one, I'm actually going to use the text side of the page. I'm going to turn it upside down because I want to do my score lines this way. I'm not really worried what text is on my pocket, but I'm going to score at two and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to score at four and a half inches. I'm going to fold those. And as you can see, this one is going to be too big. So I'm just going to trim some of that off. So this is going to form the basis for my pocket. That bit's going to go in first. That bit will go in second. So we have something like this. Obviously, every page you use is going to be different and I want to make sure this fits in the journal I'm going to use it for. We could make these ahead if we wanted to make them. Let's say, for example, you usually make books with A4 paper. So you've got an A4 side. You could make lots of these ready for an A4 page. And that's what this page is. This is an A5 sheet. So I'm going to line it up and decide whether I want that or this cut off. And I am actually gonna cut that off. So I'm gonna line my pocket up with the bottom of my page, grab a pencil, put a little line there. I'll explain about this journal when I am done. I'm gonna cut this. That's all cut. And now what I want to do is I want to put a little lip around the top here. Just use my punch to make a little notch. And the pocket is all ready for decorating. Let's make our tag. Now this is going to be a little bit short. Grab a piece of card. This is just some scrap card and it's the back of a paper box. Got my piece of paper. I know this is two and a quarter inches wide. I want to make my tag two inches wide. So I want to cut a piece two inches wide. And I want to make sure it's going to fit in my pocket, which it will. So that's brilliant. So which piece would I like? I'd kind of like to get this butterfly in. And it means... I would be able to use those for another tag. So I'm going to glue this and I'm going to line this up. So that's going to fit into there. I'm going to need to put a little top on here um, and I've got an idea of what I would like to do. So I've got a little D-ring here. Uh, it's for hanging picture frames, but we're going to use that. Obviously, we need to prep our tag first. It's a rather skinny tag, so I'm going to use my very little end here to cut my tag corners. So I'm going to ink all the way around my tag. I'm not going to do too much decorating on my tag. The reason being, this is going to um, have to slide in and out of my pocket. But what I do need to do is attach this. Um, this would make a fabulous belly band, but I'm just gonna steal a little bit from the edge here of that. Fold this in half and ink it. I'm gonna line this up carefully <laughs> it's a little bit tricky 
line this up with my tab and just put a little hole in there. Got a little split pin here. Put that through my D-ring and put that in. It's a bit fiddly, a bit fiddly this. Right, okay, <laughs> get in there. Right, so I'm now gonna pop that through my hole. Turn that over and then just open out. pants <laughs> I will get it I'll get it I will I will get it right hold it put that through the hole yay done it Finally done it, <laughs> and it's not it's not stray. Um, but I've got that in. Um, I think this is great. I'm going to make some of these in advance and try and do a much better job of that. So on the back of here, I know this is going to be closed onto my tag, um, but I'm going to put a little glue round here in advance and pop a little bit of tape over that. I don't want that falling out or going anywhere after the effort it took to get it in. Finally, ta-da! There we go, that is on. Can't put that on just yet because I want to sew. Oh, I want that down there. Right, should have sewn, should have, no. Anyway, eh, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> okay, <laughs> right. That's good. That's good. This is good. I need to do some decorating now. Right. I've got my two sets of dried flowers um, and they are from Libra Designs by Susan on e uh, Etsy. So you can find it on Etsy. Um, I now need to just grab. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to need. I need to find something nice to put these in. I think I might go for though. Oh, I'm just going to pull these all out. That's the one. That's the one. So I'm gonna give my flowers a little ink. So I'm just gonna use my brush and ink my flowers. So this might be a little bit fiddly. I'm gonna glue. I'm gonna turn that over and push that down. And there are a few little bits I need to trim off. Now I'm going to go around this with my blending tool to really darken that up. Now, if you don't have these die cut flowers, you can die cut some. If you have a die cutting machine, you can fussy cut some out of a book. You can use um, stickers. Um, you could use stickers. You can use all sorts of things, fussy cuts, whatever you have. These are just very pretty and convenient. Now, I do want to put a label on here. Like I said, it's not a definite no kit, um, but you don't have to use what will work. I think something that's going to really stand out, maybe. That's what I'm going for. Right, so that will go on there. Um, but I do need to sew a little bit first. I'm just going to come back to my pocket and have a little think about what I want on here. And I think I'm going to have to go more flowers. But I'm wondering, I mean, those sunflowers would look fabulous on there, wouldn't they? These ones are a bit smaller. I think they're too small. But yeah, I think I have to go for the sunflowers. However, I've got a little one here that I would probably end up having to cut off. So... I'm going to cut it in advance like that so that will go here and then I can tuck that in somewhere else so I don't lose it and I think I'm going to do the same with this bud here. 
Oh, I'm a Muppet. I should have inked this first because now I've got to try and ink teeny tiny pieces. Let's grab my scrap paper. <laughs> oh, and now we have bright sun. Not helpful. Okay, so let's give this an ink. Let's, let's get this down. So I'm going to glue this down and then I will add in the pieces that I've cut off. If you're using a fussy cut or a sticker, um, you might not uh, want to worry about any of this. But I want all of those little pieces on my pocket. A bit of glue seepage there. And I'm going to tuck that there. Actually, I might put that at a little bit of an angle. So that's what I have. And now I'm going to add a label to this too. <clears throat> so I'm going to add this little piece of lace down the bottom. Just add a little bit of glue and then pop that down. <laughs> we'll face the sticky fingers. <laughs> and I'm going to pop this here. Let's add that. And then I'm going to add that here. OK, we're really nearly ready to put this together, but I'm going to put a stitch around my tag and around this part of my pocket before I glue it shut. They're all sewn. Um, I didn't do a fabulous job. OK, I'm going to glue my little tab onto my tag. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put a little bit of something on the top of this as well. I want to go all the way down. I really like that. I do really like the tab. Right, before I put something on there, I'm going to glue this down. So I'm going to glue in two places, uh, or three places actually. Right, so I'm going to glue along the bottom here because we want that closed. I'm going to close that first. Hold that. And then I'm going to go along the bottom here and up that side. And I'm going to glue down here. Oops. And I'm just going to glue a little bit along there. And then I'm going to close that and push that down. Now, because of how this worked out, if you wanted to, you could leave all of your bits. If you've got something that sticks out, you could leave those because it's not going to cause a problem once you put this into your journal. Grab this. Now, you could do this by, let's, I think this was the page we were using, wasn't it? Hey, see, that's too small. So I've li I lied a bit, <laughs> wasn't I, for? Okay, this is the page that I had. We are going to glue maybe a centimetre or so at the top and the same at the bottom. I don't want to put just a thin bead of glue because I want this to hold if I put something behind here. Add that to my page like that. Hold that in place. So I'm going to take, the, oh let's put something up there first. Okay, so we have, I mean, you could glue this anywhere into your journal and we've got, you know, our tag inside here. But then you could pop a tag in there or even that beautiful envelope. I'm not sure if this video or this video is going out first. So this one is all done. It's in the journal and... Um, quite happy with it like it quite a lot so I've prepared some others so I have prepared um, this one I thought they'd go together quite nicely I used this piece obviously we've got a little bit of a cut out there from where I cut out my tab so I've got that one 
and then I grabbed um thanks to Joey I've grabbed some um bird pages and I've put together a bird one now this one is slightly bigger this one is two and a half centimeters and this is no that's not true is it um this is two and a half inches and this is two and a quarter inches wide and I've what I did with this one was I made it to the size of an A4 sheet of paper. So whatever paper you're doing, I would make your pocket that size. I mean, these ones are going to be um, pretty OK. I think they're all right. They actually might need a little trim off the bottom. So let's do that now. Okay, so we have three new ones to try. I'm going to do the bird one last. And I think I'm going to work on this one first. Now, I have, after making these earlier, I've made, I've put four of those together so far. I will do more. I've pre-prepared what I want to put on all of my tags. So on this one, I'm going to have... Um, my little top piece I'm gonna have this time I found out two stickers just to show you the options so we've got two stickers and then I'm gonna have those a little bit up there and then I'm gonna have a little label like so I'm just gonna bring the camera down a bit it's actually quite dark now so I'm gonna do this um, I'm not sure how the stickers will look once they're on because obviously the backing is white but the stickers have some slight white to them too so let's add our stickers and see how they look I am going to sew so um, I do have to be a little bit mindful These are, these stickers are very cheap stickers that I got off um, Etsy. And if you search flower stickers, you, you'll find hundreds of them. Okay, so let's trim. Oh, look what I did. Okay, I'm going to have to back this again because I backed it onto the wrong side. Did I do that to the other one? Oh, yes, I did. That one's okay. It's not my day, is it? It's not my day today. I have had a bit of trouble with my asthma, so I'm completely going to blame that. Right, so that is very pretty and very busy. So that's ready for sewing. It's going to go in this pocket, and I haven't found a label for that. I actually... Hmm, hmm, let me think. Oh, that looks quite good, doesn't it? Okay, right. I think I'm going to I'm going to ink this. Right. This is going to be a bit of a fiddly tricky one. And I'm going to put this put some glue on. Okay, I quite like that. Got a little flower on there. Don't usually use flowers. It's not my usual method. So that one is ready for sewing. I will put this one together, but I'm going to speed this one up. Okay, so that one was very, very simple. And these are just little fussy cuts. 
little bug fussy cups that I've added to that one. So that's now ready to sew. And I'm going to do something to this now. This particular one, like I said, I also, this book page was a bit fragile. So I've had to put some glue down the seam and add some of this uh, surgical tape. And I've already pulled out what I'm going to use. Now, I picked this bird and then I went ahead and inked it and realised I've used the black soot inking tool. So that's quite dark. But, you know, I went with it and just embraced it and went all the way round with the black. Um, I am not sure. I think I'm going to use all of those on here. I'm going to put my bird in place. This is a fussy cut bird. I'll try and pop the links to the kits that I have used in the description box. But you can use, like I said, book pages, fussy cuts you've done yourself, stickers, anything that we've already used um, would work perfectly. So I'm going to add my bird. Now, obviously, not much of him is going to be on the tag, but that's fine. We'll cut the rest off that now obviously if you've got if you've got some fabulous um books i mean like i said these could all be fussy cut out um there's bird books have some amazing images to fussy cut i think i'm going to add some stamping to this this is um vermilion archival ink with those i'm going to go off and sew around the inside panel of my pockets and around the tags i will also add my little toppers i'll have to come back tomorrow to share the finished belly bands because it is getting a little bit too dark to film here now hello again obviously we finished this one yesterday um, and then i started to create um, the others so I have this one, which is all now sewn and finished. And we have the tag. And I did, because I backed it incorrectly, I'd put it the wrong way round. So I have put some um, tea dyed paper on the back there. So there's some journaling room. And like this one, it would be able to be glued into your journal as a belly band. And you then have your tuck spot as well as your tag. Um, the second one... Um, I am I regretting that flower a little bit? I think I, I think it either needed more than one or none at all. Uh, but we, but it is what it is. It's it's pretty. Might add a couple more. Who knows? And there is the tag all sewn for that pocket. And again, this is all ready to be tucked. Oh, and I did back that again as well. All ready to be tucked or glued into a journal. I mean, it could always be used as a floating pocket. If you wanted, it could always be stuck at the side. You could always stick it in and use it as a tuck spot. It doesn't have to be a belly band. Um, another option. And here is the bird one, which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I think I might make some more bird ones absolutely love it i don't know why i just do i think it's the text at the back maybe yeah i think so and that one obviously i did back the correct way around and again it could be used as a floating pocket could be used as a tuck spot or it could be used as a belly band so those are my four little belly band pockets using book pages so i want to talk a little bit about this journal um, I've started to add things that I'm making in videos. I'm going to be adding um, to, to this particular journal. There's already a few things in here. 
So in here, I've got that other little envelope I made with the Corey scrap. So we've got the belly band, the other envelope with the Corey cluster. Got one of the little tags held on with a little clip there. And then here we have one of the little floating pockets and book page tags. And then at the front, at the moment, it says February. That might change to the date I finish this particular journal. And this is going to be a giveaway journal. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it, probably in the next two or three months. I'm going to be making videos and some of the things I make will go into this journal. So it might not be that cohesive in the end, um, but I will be giving it away. And I'm probably just going to select one of the videos I make at random and draw from the comments rather than advertise this as a giveaway. I'm not going to put any kind of time limit on it. I'm not... I hope you get to pull out some book pages and make some belly band pockets. Um, anyway, uh... I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.